Karl Marx Karl Marx was a German communist thinker, Das Kapital and Communist Manifesto are the world's famous book written by him. Frederick Engels and Karl Marx collectively published the Manifesto of Communism in the year 1848. Marx did a scientific analysis of the human social development. He gave communist doctrines for establishing a social system free from exploitation and social inequalities. He believed that human society is dynamic and progressive. No power beyond human power can bring about the change. According to Marx, the roots of change lay in the economic system of society. Along with economic system, social customs and values are also going to change. The social class that holds the means of production exploits the poor people. Thus, there created the groups of haves and has not in society. The conflict between these two groups gets intensified. Karl Marx made an appeal that the workers and laborers in the world should get organized for a fundamental social change. B. Russian Revolution Russian Revolution is a turning point of the history of the world. In the 19th century political, social and economic conditions declined in Russia. During the period of Tsar of Romanov dynasty, in the beginning of 20th century, Tsar's empire spread on large area. Social condition in his period was extremely unequal. Due to feudalism and serfdom, common people were living in miserable condition. While comparing the other European nations, the industrial development of Russia was not so good. Industries in Russia were in the hands of the capitalists and they were exploiting the workers. They were not using advanced technology. So, it was difficult to give quality production. As a result, the economic condition of Russia started to decline. Course of Revolution In January and February 1917, the workers and soldiers came together and revolted against the government. It was an anti sar agitation. There was an increasing pressure on the king to give up power. Eventually on 15th March 1917, the Tsar vacated the throne. After that, the moderate leaders formed the provisional government. This government had representatives of landowners, capitalists, industrialists and business persons. It was Kerensky, the leader of the moderate Menshevik group who led the government. The provisional government continued the war against Germany in the World War I. The Russian forces lacked sufficient arms and ammunition for the war. Common men in Russia lost confidence about the provisional government. Lenin, the Bolshevik leader under exile in Switzerland, returned to Russia in April 1917. There came into being a big conflict between Lenin and Menshevik leader Kerensky. The Bolsheviks suspended the Kerensky government on 7th November 1917. As a result, the course of Russian Revolution came to an end. Workers Revolt at St. Petersburg in the middle of October 1905, an event took place in Russia which gave a new direction to the nation's history. 
entire Russia witnessed workers' strike. The workers' leaders got together at St. Petersburg to set up a central board with a view to directing workers and creating a kind of cohesion in their agitation. This was called the St. Petersburg Soviet. Tsar Nicholas II ensured the people by publishing the Manifesto of the People in October. According to Manifesto, the people were ensured of the fundamental rights, the right to vote, to hold national elections, special rights to the National Legislative Council. Significance of Russian Revolution The Russian Revolution has a significant place in the history of the modern world. This was the first revolution inspired by the philosophy of Karl Marx. The working class acquired great importance due to this revolution. The revolution gave the world a direction to bring about social development through economic planning. It was an attempt to create a social order without religion, class and exploitation. The concept of welfare state was accepted everywhere in the world. The message of total freedom from all sorts of restrictions was given. This event assured in a new era. It brought about fundamental changes in the political, social, economic, cultural and scientific fields of Russia. America was a potential rival in the world of Russia. Russian Revolution proved to be a blessing for many countries in the world. There rose a new form of governance and communism. The revolution gave birth to new values. Russia led the nations belonging to the Eastern Hemisphere. The Russian Revolution made deep impact on world history. This revolution led to political, social and economical cultural and scientific changes and set up the principles of equality, cooperation and global fraternity. Russia at the threshold of revolution. In the middle of the 19th century, revolutionary thoughts spread in Russia. The young generation who were learning in the universities realized that they should oppose the political, social and economic exploitation. In this period, Russian authors, thinkers were reforming Russia. Alexandria Pushkin, Dostoevsky, Leo Tolstoy, Maxim Gorky, etc. supported liberalism and humanism in their writings. Some thinkers supported revolutionary thoughts. At the same time, nihilist thinkers wanted total freedom from government, religion, marriage and ethics. They wanted a society which is depend on intellectualism. In the revolution of Russia, that is, in 1917, the communist philosophy of Karl Marx contributed most. The Rasputin Factor There was political unrest in Russia. The World War began in Europe by 1914. The attack of Germany on Russia pulled Russia into the World War. Russia made the retreat due to lack of arms and ammunition. There was a stream of thinking that the pitiable condition of Russia during the war period was an outcome of the deeds of Tsarina Alexander and her close advisor Rasputin. Rasputin was a Serbian monk. During this period, Tsar too followed the advice of Rasputin. The key appointments to the court would be done according to the approval of Rasputin. 
the increasing importance given to Rasputin couldn't be tolerated by the courtiers. As a result, Rasputin was killed by the courtiers. The Bloody Sunday The drought of 1905 in Russia had made the people helpless. In 1904-05 war, Japan defeated Russia. This created an anti sar climate in Russia. The battle against Japan had weakened the economy of Russia. The workers, the common people and the intellectuals of Russia rose under the guidance of Father Gapon to revolt against the royal reign. The soldiers of the Tsar attacked the revolting people. This armed conflict caused a big loss of human life. As this event took place on the Sunday in 1905, it was called the Bloody Sunday. Contribution of Lenin Lenin was an intelligent and an extremist in his communist philosophy. He was under great impact of Marxist philosophy. He firmly believed that unless feudalism, land slavery and the despotic Tsar rule were totally destroyed, there could be no progress of the Russian people. He terminated capitalism in the field of business and industry. Private property was confiscated and business and industry were nationalized. Big landholders were deprived of the land and there was an equal distribution of the land for all. The government sponsored and ran various industries. Lenin believed that the government must have domination of the working class. The workers were given accommodation, food, clothing and other facilities instead of wages in money. Thus, a communist government was formed in Russia. Duma dissolved. There had been an insistence for the establishment of a democratic government in the nation. In the year 1906, the first Duma, that is, Russian Parliament, was elected. As the decisions taken by the Duma were not accepted by the Tsar, the first Duma was dissolved. The second Duma was set up after re-elections. However, the Tsar dissolved this Duma too on the grounds of differences with its members. But, the third Duma became a puppet in the hands of the Tsar. Being under royal control, the third Duma couldn't do any noteworthy work. In the following years, the Duma was made a part of the paper. In this way, the democratic experiment in Russia totally failed. These events led to the revolution. Despotic Rule in Russia Before the revolution took place, Russia had been under the reign of the Romanov dynasty for three centuries. The Russian king was called as Tsar. The Russian Tsar were essentially despotic rulers. Therefore, they would oppose liberal and progressive ideology. They trampled the hopes and aspirations of their citizens. Although Russia had become a strong empire under the reign of the Tsars, due to the imperial strategy, they paid no attention to the internal development of their country. As a result, there could not be any considerable progress of the nation as a whole. During the reign of Tsar, industrial development began rapidly, but not good enough to satisfy the needs of the common people. The workers were troubled by the unfavorable conditions created by the scanty wages, longer working hours and insecure 
and inferior living standards. It was a fact that agriculture had been the backbone of the Russian economy. The Tsar governance also opposed the reformative demands of the workers. In Russian society, there were other minority community, including the slave race. This made the trade unions, that is, the workers' organizations, to carry on their activities secretly. Various workers' organizations got united under the political banner of the Russian Social Democratic Labour Party in the year 1898. In Russia, feudalism and bonded labour was existing. Life of bonded labour was miserable. Agriculture was the backbone of Russia. Old and improper facilities hampered the agriculture. Scarcity of food created the demand for more land. Along with Slavs, other minority group framed the Russian society. The oppressive policies of Tsar created a feeling of unrest among the people. The farmers insisted upon more land for farming, as the demand for food grain had gone up. There was a feeling of unrest among the people against Tsar's policy. Karl Marx Karl Marx was a German communist thinker, Das Kapital and Communist Manifesto are the world's famous book written by him. Frederick Engels and Karl Marx collectively published the Manifesto of Communism in the year 1848. Marx did a scientific analysis of the human social development. He gave communist doctrines for establishing a social system free from exploitation and social inequalities. He believed that human society is dynamic and progressive. No power beyond human power can bring about the change. According to Marx, the roots of change lay in the economic system of society. Along with economic system, social customs and values are also going to change. The social class that holds the means of production exploits the poor people. Thus, there created the groups of haves and has not in society. The conflict between these two groups gets intensified. Karl Marx made an appeal that the workers and laborers in the world should get organized for a fundamental social change. The communist philosophy believed in two social classes, that is, the haves and the haves not. The haves possessed the means of production, whereas the haves not have nothing. The second class is made up of the workers and the poor farmers. The Russian Revolution saw a conflict between the Tsar and his rich supporters on the one hand and the workers and farmers on the other. Lenin's New Economic Policy that is NEP Lenin announced a new economic policy which consisted in both privatization and nationalization to some extent. The private industry business and property were allowed to a limited extent only. This policy of Lenin was opposed by the extremist communist leaders. Nevertheless, Lenin defended his decision by saying that it was sensible to go a couple of steps back after having gone three steps ahead. This was only a temporary compromise with the capitalist principles by Lenin. Important of new economic policy First 
collective farming. Second, open market. Third, new currency. Fourth, small and large scale industries. The new economic policy caused a big increase in the agriculture and industrial production. A greater area of land came under cultivation. The private industries were allowed to form. These industries were allowed a small extent to buy and sell their products in the open market. However, transportation and external trade were kept under a total control of the government. The new economic policy gave an incentive to the industrial production. A great revolutionary and founder of the first communist government in the world, Lenin's contribution to world history is certainly enlightening and noteworthy.